Yo, what is up everybody? I hope that intro wasn't too loud. It is King Hitman here and it's lit, man, cuz it's the Hitman. Hope you guys are doing all right. I got some info for you. You might want to hear some of you, most of you haven't heard already, but hopefully I my new take on it might be a bit interesting cuz I'm hopping in blind. I don't know anything. All I do know is that we are getting an LR hit and Goku unit. Finally, the Super Saiyan God Goku and hit unit. I'm very excited for that. Their STR, I didn't even know that. Like, I literally just looked at their art. I didn't even peep their typing. Their STR, huh? Um, okay. Okay. That's... I don't really see an issue with that. I'll have to see their link set once we get into it. But we are getting an LR hit coup. God, like I said, God Goku and hit. Very exciting. I hope you guys are hyped. A lot of people have been waiting a while for this. Let's see what they do. And then Tech Hit is also getting his EZA. And so you know we're going to have to get into that. That is... We thought it was going to happen, but it's something about when they just say it's happening. That's when the realization kicks in. So that's dope, man. Let's see what they do. Now, Hit and God Goku. High Speed Battle and Universe Survival Saga. Another one. Oh, man. Another one. Well, I did pull up Universe Survival Saga because I knew in advance that was their leader skill. We got another one, huh? So one, two, three, four. Mind you, Hit's getting an easy A. So one, two, three, four. I guess STR Jiren isn't like a real leader anymore, but his leader skill is still three key 150. But they have five leaders and four very legitimate options as a leader skill. Uh, it's whatever. And then the two categories get four key HP attack and defense 150. Thank goodness they didn't make it 130. That was definitely something I would have kept an eye on. So I guess that's okay. High speed battle. We'll have to see what that category entails. I guess that would be like what Birder, Yamcha. I don't who's fast. Like I units that are like known for being that's odd. That's gonna be a weird category because a lot of units who have speed feats, as in like say, I don't know, uh technically instant transmission Goku's can teleport across like half a galaxy in less than two seconds. You guys know what I mean. Well, instantly. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, we'll see what that entails. 12 key super attack. Goku and hits joint front. Raises attack and defense for one turn with a high chance to stun. Okay, okay. So that's gonna be good for that's gonna be great for STR SBR, Super Battle Road. 18 key. Greatly raises attack and defense, mega colossal, and a high chance to stun. Oh, okay. So yeah, they're already built for SBR. Okay, okay. Um, passive skill, high speed advantage, attack and defense 170%. They get six key and an additional attack and defense 60%, and their attacks are guaranteed to hit and disable the enemy's guard, and they gain an and they gain a high chance to dodge as the first or second attacker in the turn. Okay, okay, okay. So if they're in slot one, they give themselves six key, sixty percent attack and defense. They will connect. So for long of like say, full power Super Saiyan four Goku who can dodge, that is kind of important. Um, and they'll disable enemies guard, which is irrelevant. But they will have a high chance to dodge in slot one or two. That's good. They get seven key and an additional seventy percent attack, and perform an additional attack that has a medium chance to become a super as the third attacker in a turn oh okay okay i like that i mean very very straightforward unit but i like that i don't see any issues with that i mean high defense high attack they can dodge they they're key sufficient very key sufficient actually it's not even like a oh a chance to get like they're simply gonna get six key or seven key that's dope okay yeah yeah they're good they're good at least from what I see so far. Active skill, ever-growing combo. The animations, let's look at their animations. I what? The, I know I pulled it up, bro. I know I pulled it up. <laughs> I hate it here. I could have sworn I pulled up their, um, their active skill, but let's watch it together. Or for that matter, their super attack animation. Hope it's not too loud. I hope it's not too loud. Yeah, I'm not really impressed with their animations. I did see this in advance also. I'm not impressed at all. They're, they're very mundane. Like, they, they look low effort. I can't even act on y'all. Maybe they'll look better in 2X, but they just don't look great. That walk away from hit is always fire, though. It never gets old. <laughs> The stance change. Yes, sir. 
Yo, something about it just always wanting to throw hands is just is going, bro. He's a yo, I ain't gonna lie, hit is low key a thug, like not even slightly, like he's literally a criminal. So yeah. <laughs> See like right here, look at that combo Goku does. That's so low quality, you know? It's it's just not the moves. I'm not impressed with it. But I mean the unit seems OP enough, so I'm not gonna trip out. Let's see what their active skill does. Can be used after three super attacks are launched and HP is below 76%. Once only. I'm not I'm not a big fan of that at all. Their ability, they gain 13% attack and defense. Oh, for the rest of the battle. It has to be. For the rest of the battle? It can't be for one turn. There's no way you have to super three times. You realize super in three times means it's at least turn five. So you have to super three times. Well, I guess they get it turn one and that'll be extremely rare because you're hitting potential additional. So it's either going to be turn three, like 5% of the time, turn five, 80% of the time, turn six or seven, that other percent, whatever, what, 15% that's left over. I, I'm not impressed with that. I hope it's permanent. It has to be permanent. Maybe it's for long events. Now, their link set, Tournament of Power, Experience Fighters, Cold Judgment, In Fighter, Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. Oh, their link set is as good as you could have asked for from a link unit like this. That's fine with me. It's more hit-oriented, actually, but that's perfectly fine with me. I like that a lot. Categories, High Speed Battle, Universe Survival Saga, Joint Forces, and Legendary Existence. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Obviously limited on categories. If their category is good, that'll be a good thing. Universe Survival Saga. Thing about Universe, so, like I said, you know, there's so many leader skills for it. There's so many different iterations you can run under that category that, you know, it'll actually, they'll be all right. I think they'll be perfectly fine. I I don't see an issue in terms of their categories because, for example, if you run Jiren, you're running, of course, Universe Survival Saga, but also Universe 11. This guy right here, what, is, what, what do these guys do? It's Universe Survival Saga and Joint Forces. Okay, so, I mean, that's a two for one anyway because they're already on Joint Forces. Hit, now you can run them on a Universe 16. Kyle King Goku, you can run them on a reps of Universe 17. You guys see what I'm saying? And I don't like Kyle can go through like that, but you guys get what I'm saying. Now, okay, I took a little bit of a while on the, those two, but let's see. So their best linking partners, don't worry about the Boda Magetta. Their best linking partners, the LR that does lead their category. Another L Goku and Frieza who is on the um who is on tournament of power. Whoa, wow, I ain't gonna lie, I just had a whole brain shutdown. It's eight in the morning for me. PyCon, I don't see where that's irrelevant. Tech Hit, who we're about to get into his info right here. And then the Krillin and Gohan unit. So I guess join forces for them. Oh, it's too bad. Oh, they're not on rapid growth. I get it. But they, I feel like Goku, you could slide him on rapid growth. You could finesse it. Uh, whatever, whatever. And then Jiren does share four links with them. God Topo shares four links with them. So that's nice. That's cool. That's cool. Now, Tech Hit. As I said, Tech Hit is getting his easy A. I'm tired of holding y'all up. I know y'all are tired of sitting here. Let's I spent mad time on the Goku and Hit unit. Now, before his awakening, his leader skill was 3 key 170 to Universe 6 and 3 key 150 to Universe Survival Saga. He now gives an extra key to Universe 6, which is which is good. I mean, sometimes the Kefla units, because they don't have prepare for battle, and then, you know, hit is a shocking speed unit. It can be a bit, like, not bad. It's not like you're struggling for key, but it's just a bit finicky sometimes, if that makes sense. So the extra key definitely, this is one of those teams that helps a bit more than other teams. Or Universe Survival Saga, 3 key, 160. That's great to see. So yeah, the standard is literally just... If you get an easy A and your thing was 3 key 150, you're going up 10%. That's fine. And if you're already at 170, you're going to stay at 170. Um, I guess that's okay. I mean, it, it could be worse. I guess that's okay. I would have wanted it to go up to 180 and stay at 3 key, personally. I'd be okay with trading that out. But those would be uber powerful leader skills for real. The 10% is massive. 
Super attack effect, his time cage, extreme races. <laughs> they already know what to do. <laughs> they already knew what the. <laughs> they understood the assignment. <laughs> it raises defense for one turn, immense damage to the enemy with a medium chance to stun. Passive skill, wipe out the target. Attack and defense, 20% per universe 6 category ally in the same turn. He has a medium chance of stunning all enemies at the start of turn if all allies are universe 6 category. I don't like the dependency they've already created on universe 6, but let's keep going. Attack and defense, 160% when performing a super attack. He gets an additional 80% attack and attacks effective against all types if the enemy is stunned. That was probably the most annoying part of his passive because in difficult content, you just won't see it. It seems like hit still isn't built for difficult content, but let's keep going. Attacked enemies attack minus 20% and defense minus 80% for two turns. He has a high chance to stun the attacked enemy for one turn. Okay, okay, okay. So, he... Okay, let's break it down. Attack and defense 160%. When supering, he can get an additional 40% based on the universe 6 category allies. He gets an additional 80% if they're stunned, but that's extremely, like... You're, you're only gonna see that... So, hit is an SP... Isn't that hilarious? The worst place you could have brought hit sometimes is SBR because he has no real defense. And now, since he's so slot two and three oriented and universe survival, like universe six, he's going to slam the universe six stage. Okay, so they completely flipped. I mean, <laughs> hit wasn't good anywhere, to be fair. But they definitely, they knew what they wanted to do. Like They knew what direction they wanted to go in. Of course, his link stat stays the same. He's fine. Nothing's wrong with him. I just don't like the Universe 6 dependency, but it's not bad. I mean, the team, it never hurts to have something like that on the team. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys like. Hopefully, if you do want to keep seeing Hitman's content, you subscribe. Comment your thoughts on Hit. I really want to know what you guys think about Hit and, of course, the new LR Hit and Goku. They're good. I mean, both of them are good. Uh, is the LR a top? What, what is he? A top what? Let me see. I'd say because of their simplicity, they have they don't have dependency on anything. They're a very individual unit. So like it's not like Super Saiyan 2 physical angel LR Vegeta who wants Goku's around and Majin Buu Goku's around or say um I don't know. Uh I'm just thinking of a name. I can't even find a unit that's like mad dependent. <laughs> I'm just spinning up, but you guys, uh, you see what I mean? They're very self-sufficient. So I think they're somewhere around seven, eight, or nine. I think I'm okay with that. We'll see how good they really are. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys uh, were informed or entertained. Hitman is out. <laughs>